So welcome to another episode of the shorts. This is a follow-up on uh, the video about uh, using a tourniquet as a civilian or carrying a tourniquet as a civilian. Uh, you saw me uh, checking my radial pulse when wearing one of these the rapid application tourniquet system, the RATS tourniquet. And uh, and I was checking my radial pulse here. Uh, it's uh, let's see if we can get this. It's obviously on, on the side here, and uh, you should check it obviously before putting this one on, so you know where you have it, and then you should check it afterwards. And in this case, obviously, I don't have one because I've cut them off with the tourniquet. I've cut off the arterial blood flow with the tourniquet. But what about on your leg? How do you check your pulse? on your leg. Where is the best location for that? There are several locations uh, to check for a pulse uh, in the leg, uh, but the one that I would uh, recommend uh, first would be the posterior tibial pulse and that is uh, located on your down on your foot. So the problem is that you have to remove your shoes. There is uh, another uh, pulse that you can check behind uh, behind the knee on your lower leg uh, called the popliteal uh, pulse I think popliteal I think it's called popliteal well don't take my word for it uh, check it out but the posterior tibial pulse is uh, is the most sure way to to check that you have occluded the arterial blood flow uh, when wearing a tourniquet on your leg that's it for this episode of uh, the shorts and uh, to finish off this is how I uh, how I usually store my uh, uh, rats tourniquet I always have the three finger loop there and then I just uh, do it like this you have this it's you know it just unravels like that very easily and then I just carry it in my pocket and in, in any kind of pocket it fits in you know normal work trousers also and then it's always on me so thanks for watching thumbs up and uh, share subscribe and all that stuff and there will be more shortly this is Mike out